Hi, my name is Dr. Udramon and today through the Oral Health Channel, we are going to be talking about the dentary cyst. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a very common cyst of the oral cavity that is usually associated with an unerupted tooth, which is known as dentigerous cyst. Now this can be a cause of grave concern for a lot of patients. Uh, initially it is asymptomatic, but if it gets infected, it can cause you pain and discomfort. And the cyst is expansile. That means it can cause jaw swelling and prominence. And till the time it does not cause any swelling or symptoms, it is asymptomatic and uh, the patients don't notice it and usually it is discovered routinely on a radiograph. So it's very simple. I'm not going to go into the histopathology or the science of the dentigerous cyst. It's very simple. Uh, there is an uninterrupted tooth that is not getting erupted and due to its non-eruption, uh, it starts forming a cyst around it, usually attached at the neck of the tooth and the cyst gradually starts to grow. Now the cyst, as it starts to grow, it grows at the expanse of the bone. That means it releases chemicals into the bone that dissolve it, wither it away and also cause the swelling of the bone. At this point of time, till the time it is not noticeable, a patient might not understand or if they go for a routine examination, they, under, they see it on the radiograph. But if the size becomes too big, it becomes a cosmetic emergency. At the same time, if the cyst gets infected, you are most likely to experience pain and discomfort. Also, it is most commonly associated with the last lower molar tooth, that is the wisdom tooth and upper canines because these are the ones, the teeth that are most likely to not be able to erupt on their own. It is always better to operate this cyst at an earlier age, especially if it's happening during the teenage or the childhood age of, you know, having deciduous teeth. It's also seen with unerupted permanent teeth which are secondarily infected due to an infected deciduous or a milk tooth of a child. Now I have to be very honest, it is always better if the moment it is discovered, I would strongly recommend that you remove the cyst because it can remain dormant for a very long time. But if it starts to grow, it will eat up your bone and it can cause you a lot of physical discomfort at the same time aesthetic discomfort and it might lead to functional debilitation because it might eat away at your bone especially around the lower ones the this one because what happens is when the cyst expands right it already takes the tooth below it towards the lower border of the mandible and it starts to eat up the anterior border or the ramus of the mandible which can cause you a lot of problems when it comes to functioning properly so the treatment is very simple if the cyst is small we go for the cyst enucleation that is a surgical operation where we remove the cyst with its lumen if the cyst is very big we go for a process known as marsupialization marsupial meaning you must have seen a kangaroo they have a pouch so what we do is we kind of create a pouch like cavity surgically and let the cystic contents get drained the cystic content usually in a dentist cyst is straw colored and it is yellowish and what we do is after creating marsupial, uh, marsupial pouch, what we do is we put an obturator on that and let the cyst drain on its own normally so that the size of the cyst goes down and maybe the natural defenses and the natural cells of the body take over and the bone can also fall. Over a period of time, once the uh, cyst decreases in size, you can go for cystic nucleation. If there is a lot of bone loss because of the bone being withered away because of the cystic action, we might have to place some bone graft and after the you know uh, the treatment if the cyst is too big and the operation is a little more invasive the patient might have to undergo some sort of physiotherapy and physiological rehabilitation so this was today's episode please like share and subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to contact me kindly refrain from calling me directly here are my social media handles and this is my whatsapp number if you have any apprehensions or queries you can either put it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you can directly message me on Instagram or WhatsApp and we will talk about it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.